okay it is super nice out a little bit warm just because it's the middle of the day but it's not like not like it has been actually i can't complain about the weather we had some hot days but all in all we've got good rain the plants are growing then we got some cool weather summer yay I mean, it's it's been nice here. So right now I'm alone with no kids. Bo took them to do some stuff. Probably because I freaked out about how I needed to not have kids here for a while. So I'm using the time to weed. The only problem with really good weather is the plants like it, but so do the weeds. This type of weed, actually, I'm trying to decide if I should just let it grow. It's a ground cover that I really don't mind. Like, if it's not going to cause a problem for the plants, then I'm okay with letting it cover the ground so that other weeds don't grow. But I really need to look into it and see if that's what's going to happen. Oof. Now, now we're in trouble over here. I really want a sunflower to pop. Just not there yet. Hey, this one, this one's, this one is taller than me. Yikes. Here, you weed over there and I'll weed over here. It'll go twice as fast. So for the past few days, maybe weeks, maybe longer, I have just been at the end of my rope. <laughs> I don't even have an inside voice. I've been yelling way too much and just everything sets me off. And I know it's because there's just like, I feel drained, like I'm doing too much which is a constant in my life. So Bo was like, you don't have to make so many videos. And I'm like, no, 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 that's this here hanging out. This is not what is draining me. And I didn't have the vocabulary to explain what it's like, but I think that I can explain it better now. I had a day where I was so tired that I felt physically ill. Like I was like, am I sick? And I was like, no, I'm actually tired. And it's not a physical tired, even though I did fix it a little bit by laying down. It's more of just a emotional, mental, everything tired. It's just too much. So it's not so much that I'm doing too much. I feel like it's a, it's an equation of in versus out. It's like my energy is this cup. Okay. Which hopefully doesn't have a hole in it because that will defeat the way I'm doing this. It's that whole old adage of like, you can't pour from an empty cup. This is my energy. This is how much energy I have to give to people. The past week I have been like, not only this empty, like there's, I still need to fill up more even to get water into the cup. I've been completely drained. What I need to do is not just cut out stuff, but to figure out what is gonna fill up my cup. What can I cut? I don't wanna cut anything. I feel like all the things I'm doing are important. Cooking food from scratch, that's the whole thing that we're doing here. This homestead thing, the garden, I'm not gonna cut my garden. I can't cut my kids. I can't just like, goodbye children, have a nice time. Like I can't cut anything because it's all important. So to fix the problem, I think I need to start putting more in. And the problem was, is I kept cutting things that actually fill up my cup. <laughs> so I need time alone. Man, that just, Tell you the truth that would just fill up the whole cup but the amount of time i was getting was like only filling to here so say i would get a little bit of time alone to here and so i'd like wake up and you know a raccoon ate a chicken and my kids are crazy and i don't know something else happened oh and i'm down to zero again and i still need to make dinner and do all these things i know what fills up my cup i know that being alone fills up my cup i know that dreaming about things fills up my cup but then the other problem is for instance and think now I'm dreaming about like getting a horse <laughs> and it's like well how much is that going to fill up and how much is taking care of the horse going to dump out it needs to be a net positive <laughs> the point is is that I can't yell anymore and I can't I can't be at my wits end I need some preventative measures I'm getting an earful today we had agreed a while ago knowing that I need time alone that I would take time alone so like once a week I would have a day like to have some time alone. But the problem is, is that I would start having that time alone and then I felt better. So then I was like, well, I don't need time alone. I'm, I feel better. I don't need it. It's like, say you take vitamins or say you take a medicine that you need to like function and you start to, you feel like really crappy and then you start taking that medicine. Well, then you feel better. So then, well, I don't need this medicine. I feel better. You feel better because you were taking the vitamins. That's, that's the whole thing. I need to be able to make sure that like, if I say I'm gonna have time alone, that I actually, stick to it and then don't say like, well, I feel better now, so I don't need time alone now. You dig? I don't know why I said that, you dig. Are you digging? Are you still pulling weeds? Can you like help out please? You're sitting there listening to me drinking coffee. 
do you think this is? Like a cafe? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You don't have to pull weeds. There's too many weeds to pull anyway. That's the other thing. I wish I could like make my kids come out and pull weeds, but man, you should see when I'm like, time to pull weeds. It's gone. Is that kind of how you operate? What fills your cup? I don't also don't want my kids to feel like they deplete my cup because that's not the way it is. For instance, it's like waking up and having a child immediately start talking more words than I've ever spoken in my life. That does deplete the cup. But at the same time, watching that child teach his younger brother how to ride a bike, um, fill up the cup moment. Um, did you just teach him how to ride a bike? I, it's not like one specific activity. It's not one specific person. It's just an overall equation. And I like equations, so I can figure this out. Wow, look at the weeding we did. Uh-oh, getting into some trouble over here. Do you see anything besides weeds? Please tell me you do this. I put seed down not 24 hours ago, and already I'm like, is it coming up yet? Do you see anything? Could that be one? No, it's probably a weed, but... I can pretend that that's one of the flowers we sewed. Okay, so since it's just us and there's no kids, let's do some things where we don't have to share. These black raspberries are delicious. Unfortunately, they never make it into the house at all because we're always just eating them. Same goes for pretty much every berry on this property. They look like jewels. Don't they look like jewels? I'm gonna eat them all, all of them. I'm not gonna save any for anybody. I would say that's one place where I've definitely kind of let things slide is the food making. If I was on my game during the winter. All right, came out. And like recently, I've just been like, oh, make a sandwich. I don't care. Peanut butter and jelly, just come on. It's been rough. I'm hoping once the garden starts kicking out, especially tomatoes, that maybe we'll get back into it. But I'm just like, if something has to fall, I guess that's what has to fall, but at the same time, I'm like, that should not be the thing that falls. <laughs> I guess that's the whole purpose of homesteading is making, growing your own food, knowing where it comes from. And then it's like, that's what I'm gonna drop is like the main thing of what we're doing. It's pretty bad. Oh, it's weird. We have different mulberry trees on the property and some of them are sweeter than others. Okay, so apparently we're just gonna spend our time alone just eating berries. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I guess what we need to do is make a list. What fills your cup? What depletes your cup? Try to prioritize the things that fill our cup. Get rid of or reduce the amount of things that drain our cup or find a way to deal with them. Because a lot of the things on my deplete my cup list, I mean, you could just be like chickens. But it's not really chickens. What stresses me out is when wild animals get in and attack my chickens. That stresses me out. So it's not like get rid of the chickens, it's figure out a better fence. It's not like kids deplete my cup, but maybe them talking incessantly really early in the morning deplete, depletes it a little bit. Maybe I can fix that by wearing headphones secretly or asking them to just chill out for a while or getting up earlier. And I think also part of it is the things that fill my cup, I always feel guilty for doing them because they are not constructive. That was the whole thing yesterday when we were planting the flowers because in certain people's eyes, they have no value. They're not food, you can't eat them. They're just pretty. Well, you know what? <laughs> but a lot of things that fill my cup probably have no value. Making YouTube videos, um, probably seen as frivolous, fills my cup. Not feeling guilty about doing the things that fill our cups. That would be another good, good plan. I need to figure out where I'm gonna put the fence for my pony. <laughs> well, my mom was here anytime I mentioned getting a horse or a pony, she was like, oh, oh, Anna. <laughs> it's funny, you can see the line where we plowed. So we plowed this backfield because we were gonna plant it with something and then didn't plant it with anything and it just kind of went to, went to weeds. So if you look here, you can see the very clear line between grass and weeds. <laughs> look at that sky. Man, when it is clear and blue, it is beautiful. <laughs> Here's something else I really need to take care of. The bee yard area, I need to chop down the weeds. You can see that nobody mowed around here for fear of the bees. <laughs> I don't even think they would do anything. We have really docile, nice bees that like just kind of chill. Oh my gosh, look, it's Beatrice. Do you see? Do you see her? No? What if I named them all? 
Look, it's Tabitha. I'll stop now. Something I want to get is one of those lawnmowers that you just push, just like with the blades. I mean, for this size property, it seems ridiculous. Once we get my pony, then I can just use it to go around the bee house. Otherwise, I was going to come out with scissors today. Scissors and cut the grass. All right, blackberry eating time. Oh yeah. Man, those are good. <laughs> Here, you go in the middle with all the thorns. Okay, if you had to pick, what's your favorite berry? Raspberry, blackberry, mulberry, blueberry, other, other kind of berry that you have. Witness the epic fail that is the compost pile. Oh my gosh, there's like trees growing out of it. At least we know that it's very fertile ground. Can you not grow in my compost? I'm pull a little bit more weeds, but then I'm just gonna go and I might just lay down. Or I might just come out here and sit. I would lay down in the grass. Okay, we picked a bad spot to lay because literally the <laughs> I always forget that thing is there. I've normalized that thing being there. I don't even see it anymore. It's like lay down at the beautiful sky. It's like, oh, wires, that's nice. Okay, we're gonna move. <laughs> you know what? We'll just stare at this beautiful field full of weeds instead. We'll do that. And then I'm gonna go lay down and rest and enjoy my little bit of time alone. Yeah, we'll check back. <laughs>